Have you ever pondered over the significance of authenticity, of being real in your prayers and relationships? Imagine a world where everyone wears a mask, hiding their true selves, and communicating with God or each other through a veil of pretense. It is quite a bleak image, isn't it? But let's move away from this gloomy picture and delve into some enlightening experiences of individuals who discovered the transformative power of being real in prayer. Consider the journey of a religious sister whose prayer life was monotonous and painful. She grappled with the deep-seated anger she held towards God for the death of her closest friend. But the moment she decided to be real, to unveil her true feelings and express her anger, her relationship with God took a transformative turn. Then there's the tale of a young man yearning for his freedom who found himself unable to pray. His prayers remained unanswered until he finally admitted to God and more importantly to himself, his unfaithfulness to his wife. The moment he became real, his relationship with God was renewed. Isn't it fascinating how being real can alter the course of our prayer life? When we hide our true selves, it's as if all our energy is spent in concealing what we don't want God to see. But here's the beautiful truth. God loves real people with all their blemishes and flaws. The best advice one can give about prayer is to pray as you are, not as you're not, and to pray as you can, not as you can't. As people become more real before God, they experience a more tangible, awesome, loving, and challenging God. They find a God whose desire for them far outweighs their desire for Him, a God who knows and loves them, despite their dark places and unworthiness. Why pray? The answer lies not in the question of why, but in the realization that if we truly desire God, how could we not pray? There are many ways to pray, but the common thread is that they are all responses to God. And yes, God knows our thoughts and feelings, but perhaps expressing them to God isn't for His sake, but for ours. Just like lovers who repeatedly express their love for each other in any meaningful relationship, time needs to be taken to be together, to share life experiences, to wait, to listen, to ask, to say thank you. It's not a matter of necessity, but a matter of desire, a longing for connection. In summary, being real in prayer is not just about authenticity, it's about openness. It's about confronting our fears, our anger, our disappointments, and expressing them to God. It's about unmasking ourselves, revealing our true selves to God, and experiencing a more meaningful, transformative relationship with Him. So the next time you find yourself in prayer, remember to be real, because that's what keeps the relationship alive and opens us to God's further revelation.